most welcome to my youtube channel and the crash course of psycholinguistics in this video we will discuss about error analysis in second language learning error analysis is a branch of applied linguistics it is mainly concerned with compilation study and analysis of errors made by second language learners Actually, the phenomena is closely related to the concept of interlanguage. The term error analysis was first used in 1930s for studying second language acquisition. Carter's work, The Significance of Learners' Errors, published in 1967, shifted the attention of linguists from teaching perspective to the learning perspective. It means that for studying second language acquisition, attention was given to second language learners and mistakes made by them, and no attention was paid to the teaching of language and studying second language learning. Okay, and also the attention was shifted from behaviorism, contrastive analysis, and structuralism to the cognitive psychology. Okay, according to Carter, the second language learners hypothesize about the target's language and then they apply that hypothesis on the target's language. So the learner makes errors while testing out the hypothesis. An error analysis the influence of the learner's first language, interlanguage, and target language are all taken into consideration but a learner's approach to learning the language is of utmost importance okay let's discuss what is error analysis error analysis in linguistics is an approach used to analyze and identify the errors made by second language learners in their language production it aims to identify the sources of errors and the patterns of their occurrence. The analysis can be conducted on various language levels including lexical, phonological, morphological, syntactic, and semantic levels. Error analysis can help linguists and language teachers to understand the difficulties that learners face in acquiring a, uh, a new language. It can also provide insights into the cognitive and social factors that influence language learning. From an educational perspective, error analysis provides a basis for developing effective language instruction and material design as well as assisting learner progress and creating individualized learning plans. Okay, what is the significance of error analysis? To identify learner difficulties and needs, to understand the patterns of errors and their causes, to improve instructional materials and approaches, to provide feedback to learners, to assist learner progress and competence. Okay, what are the causes of errors made by second language learners? The first is mother tongue interference. Rules and structures of the first language can interfere with learning the target language. Learners may have difficulty producing or hearing sounds that do not exist in their first language. Grammatical structures can also be effective, leading to errors in word order or the use of prepositions. The second cause is word generalization. Word generalization means applying a grammatical rule too broadly where it does not apply. For example, a learner may use the goat as the past and sub go. Actually, word generalization is either based on the pattern observed in the target language or the first language. Okay, the third cause for inner analysis may be induced error or faculty teaching method. This is a result of ineffective teaching methods that fail to accurately reflect the target's language. Incorrect or simplified grammar rules may be thought 
leading to errors in production. Okay, here we have a general methodology for conducting error analysis. The first step is collect language data from learners. Collect written or spoken language samples from learners. Step number two is identifying errors. Go, go to the samples and identify any errors made by the learners. Errors may include grammatical errors such as incorrect verb tense or subject verb agreement, pronunciation errors or vocabulary errors. Okay, step number three, categorize errors. Categorize errors based on the type of error and the linguistic feature that is causing the error. For example, errors related to verb tense may be categorized under morphology and errors related to pronunciation may be categorized under phonetics. Okay, step number four, analyze the errors to identify patterns and common mistakes made by learners. This can help identify areas of the language that may require more confused instruction. Okay, step number five, provide feedback. Use the findings from the error analysis to provide feedback and instruction to the learners. This may involve targeting specific language features that are causing errors or providing exercises to help learners practice and improve their language proficiency. Overall, uh, error analysis is an important tool for language teachers and researchers to identify common errors made by learners and to develop effective pedagogical pedagogical strategies to improve language proficiency. Okay, thanks for watching the video.